Even 10 pounds of weight gain has significant effect on increasing a person's risk of the risk of cancer proportionally goes up as you, you're aging your body prematurely. People eating fried foods have a higher risk of the optimal BMI for a female. Some things happen when you have extra fat on your body, excess fat on your body. And the main thing is that fat is naturally poorly oxygenated tissue. It doesn't create, create, get oxy, get great blood supply. Because of that, it's, it's, inflammatory. It's, pro, it's prone to inflammation. And it actually releases inflammatory molecules into the bloodstream, like cytokines and lipokines and reactive oxygen species. So fat is a source of inflammation on your body. It also impregnates and marbleizes the, the muscle tissue which makes you insulin resistant. So the insulin molecule can't go into the, can't bring glucose into the cell. So the beta cells have to produce more insulin. So all overweight people, whether diabetic or pre-diabetic or not, I consider them all pre-diabetic, by the way. All overweight people, you're pre-diabetic, which means your insulin levels are heightened. What do you consider overweight? The conventional authorities consider a BMI above 25 overweight. The optimal BMI for a female is between 18 and 21, and for a male between 19 and 22. But certainly 23 is a permissive enough BMI that over that you would consider overweight. But there are some examples of people who are still fit and healthy with BMIs above 23, but it's rare. You know, it's not that yeah. common. But American health authorities don't consider a person overweight until the BMI is above 25. Now, because fat oxidizes and throws out inflammatory compounds, it keeps your immune system chronically inactivated and you're losing stem cells and you're aging your body faster because your immune system is always responding to inflammation, your white blood cells are higher, your neutrophils are higher your whole life. You're aging your body prematurely because you're utilizing the stem cells to be making inflammatory modulators and, and white blood cells that you don't need to make if you aren't inf chronically inflamed. And that chronic inflammation activates the aromat aromatase system in the body, which then makes the body produce more estrogen. So now you have more estrogen, which promotes breast cancer and prostate cancer, and it hurts a male's estrogen-testosterone ratio, and a female's estrogen, you have less testosterone and more estrogen from your, from your body fat being unfavorable. In addition to that, the insulin resistance, the estrogen promotion, the inflammation, right? The body fat on the body also serves to sequester nutrients. In other words, your longevity is based on the nutritional concentration of the cells in your body, including the cells in your heart and your brain. We want our cells to be, have a high nutritional concentration in them, particularly of antioxidants and phytochemicals. Just imagine, if you have a certain number of nutrients in your body, and I've thrown over 50 pounds of fat on your body, we've just diluted your massive nutrients in your t on each cell by a third. You know, and sometimes more than a third because the body fat sequesters fat soluble nutrients away from other areas of the body. So it overall makes you nutritionally deficient, as does eating foods with no nutrients in them, of course. Yeah. Now, are there studies that are showing this link between fat and cancer, or is this yes. theoretical? Here's what the studies show it shows that even 10 pounds of weight gain has significant effect on increasing a person's risk of dying of pneumonia. So much so it's, that if you're exposed to a bacteria, you may die from it if you're overweight compared to a person who's not overweight. Even 10 pounds can make a difference. The risk of cancer proportionally goes up as your body fat goes up in a dose-dependent uh, way. You know, the more body fat you have, the higher your risk of death. And certainly we know that fried foods in studies, people eating fried foods have a higher risk of premature death than people eating meat. Fried foods is like the, almost the worst thing you can do. Cooking things in oil, which the oils become rancid as you heat them up. So people aren't just putting extra virgin olive oil on a salad. They're cooking with it. They're heating it up and they're cooking, frying squid and chicken and all kinds of crap. So what's so yeah. bad about frying foods? Well, you heat up the oils and it turns the oils rancid and you, you form more carcinogenic and genotoxic and cytotoxic compounds that are very harmful to the human body. And that's you like could, you deep could be, frying or any sort of like pan frying? Yeah, any kind of frying.